Hello, my name is Simrith Olek, and I'm a PharmD candidate in the class of 2022. Today, I will be going over the medication Regen-CoV, also known as Casarivimab and Divimab. I will give a basic overview of the medication. Regen-CoV is an emergency use authorization medication used for patients with mild to moderate COVID-19 symptoms in adult and pediatric patients 12 years or older weighing at least 40 kilograms with positive SARS-CoV-2 viral testing and who are at high risk for progression to severe COVID-19, which includes hospitalization or death. The directions for this medication are 600 milligrams of casarivimab and 600 milligrams of imdevimab, IV or sub-Q, taken as soon as possible after a positive SARS-CoV-2 test and within 10 days of symptom onset. Common side effects include injection site pain, dizziness, muscle pain, nausea, vomiting, fever, and chills. Serious side effects include hives, itching, difficulty breathing, swelling of the face, lips, tongue, or throat. Get emergency help if you have any of these signs of an allergic reaction. Regen-CoV falls in the drug class of monoclonal antibody. It has an indication for post-exposure prophylaxis to COVID-19. Limitations for this medication is that it is not a substitute for COVID-19 vaccinations. It has a limitation for patients who are hospitalized due to COVID-19 or require oxygen therapy due to COVID, and patients who require an increase in baseline oxygen due to COVID-19 with those on chronic oxygen. Pros and cons. The pros for using this medication is that it is a combination of two monoclonal antibodies. It has shown to reduce viral load. It has shown to shorten the duration of the illness and it is shown to reduce risk of hospitalization or death. Cons include that it is a newly developed drug. It does have some serious adverse effects associated to use, and it is administered only IV or sub-Q. The mechanism of action of regen is that it is a combination of monoclonal antibodies that are explicitly directed against the spike protein of SARS-CoV-2, preventing the virus from attaching to and entering the human cell. Dosage and formulation. Dosage forms of regen include casarivimab and mdevimab solution containing two antibodies in a one-to-one -one ratio in a vial. Second dosage form includes casarivimab and mdevimab available as individual antibody solutions in separate vials. This is supplied individual vials or in a dose pack. Dose recommendations for the IV infusion include 600 milligrams of the casarivimab and mdevimab solution. The sub-Q dose recommendation is a 600 mg casarivimab and mdevimab injection in four syringes. Table 3, shown on the upper right-hand corner, shows the recommended administration rate for the 600 mg of casarivimab and 600 mg of mdevimab for IV infusion. Table 5, shown on the right bottom corner, shows the preparation of the 600 mg of casarivimab and imdevimab for the sub-Q injection.
dose adjustment, and storage. No dose adjustment is recommended at this time. It is important to store this medication in the refrigerator as unopened vials at 2 degrees Celsius to 8 degrees Celsius. Do not freeze, shake, or expose RegenCoV to direct light. Warnings and precautions. Individuals with previous severe hypersensitivity reactions to RegenCoV, including anaphylaxis, should not take this medication. There's limited clinical data. Serious adverse events may occur that have not been reported. Clinical worsening of COVID-19 has been reported with RegenCoV. Clinical trials are still ongoing which are evaluating the safety and efficacy of the medication. Monitoring parameters. Clinically monitor patients during administration of Regencov-V and observe patients for at least one hour after. Monitor for hypersensitivity reactions. Here are the references used in this presentation. Thank you for watching and have a great day.